Mark Christie is the Director, Digital Initiatives at the Department of Education and Training in the Northern Territory. You'll be able to tell by his shirt when he comes up. And he's been an integral part of the Adobe Creative Educator program for many years. His LinkedIn profile, it says that he is dedicated to the development of student and teacher digital literacy, creativity, curiosity, and humanism. I thought that was quite nice. In July this year, Mark, as well as Craig, wave Craig, there's Craig, as well as Greg, the camera operator here, and Narlan, who's not with us, he's teaching up in Brisbane. They all had the pleasure, because they're part of the highest level of our leadership community, to go to the United States with me, plus three Japanese ACE innovators, to meet 72 American ACE innovators for our summit. Let's get a little taste of what happened. I'm here in San Jose at the Adobe Creative Educator Innovator Summit 2024, and I'm excited. Hi, Claudio. Hey, what's going on? Can you tell me uh, what's going on here at the summit? So we have a group of educators, Adobe Creative Educators, and this is uh, Innovators, and this is the summit where we're bringing them all together and just really ramping up, like, what are we going to do this year and just enhance creativity. These are, this is the group of the group, like the, the cream of the, the cream of the crop, you know. And so, yeah, we're excited. It's going to be a fun-filled several days here and I'm just excited and again, you know, you're all here, innovators are here because they're all amazing. So I'm looking forward to this time. So Robin, what are you most looking forward to at the conference? I'm looking forward to meeting with the developers, talking about the products, finding out what's going to be new and fresh that's coming to schools, and connecting with other educators and finding out what people are doing in their classroom so I can add that to what I'm doing and sharing what I'm doing in my classroom. I am really looking forward just to connecting with other Adobe Innovative Educators who have a passion for creativity and who are really looking to try to make a place where students can be the creators themselves and not just recipients of information. I'm just so ready to get started. You know, that's why I'm sitting up here now. I'm like, come on, let's give me more. <laughs> so, let's go. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> All right, you can watch the rest of that on Create EDU TV, it's our Vimeo channel that we put all of our videos on that we create internally at our team. Can you give a big warm welcome to Mark Christie? Right, now what have I got to click? Just that one to go? Yep. All right. Just got to get my little machine working properly here. Good afternoon. Okay. Ah, perfect. My name's Mark Christie. Today I'm going to talk to you about smoothies. Now, smoothies are short, multimodal online opportunity to help interested educators succeed. I love acronyms, especially TLAs, which stand for three-letter acronyms. So, <laughs> anyway, I'm an ACE innovator. Ah, notice the shirt, but I like to think of myself as an ACE venturer. Oh, sorry, adventurer. So that's something we can all aspire to. So when I meet people in schools, I tell them that I'm from the government and I'm here to help. Strangely, people laugh at that. I'm not sure why. Uh, but I do, in fact, work for the government in the Northern Territory. So smoothies are short, informal webinars, and they've got a history that's been intertwined with Adobe for a long time. So Adobe was established as our enterprise education uh, solution for our K-12 government schools in the Northern Territory during 2015. And um, by the time smoothies were established, uh, that many of the topics for PD were, uh, um, were Adobe related. And with Adobe Express's predecessor, uh, the Adobe Web Page tool, I use that as the outset as my primary tool for archiving and sharing the hundreds of episodes that have been produced since 2017. I'll jump into a bit of, uh, bit of history um, here. So we conducted some great STEAM visits out to schools from 2015 and 16. And when you're visiting a remote school working with robots and technology, you quickly find out what the digital limitations are within that particular school environment. We found out that teachers and staff had challenges using MS365 and Adobe products. 
They didn't have time to research for new trends and apps and solutions in the education space. They were struggling to keep up to date with the technology advancements available to them. They didn't always use the best and most efficient work practices with their ed tech tools. And of course, they always have lots of time to spare. We know that's a joke. Um, so that's where Smoothies came in to offer a chance of short, sharp opportunities to get a quick update, regardless of whether they're in a remote bush location or in the city. And this video snippet is actually from an Adobe Spark video, which we created back in 2016 while traveling and sorry, um, traveling around the Northern Territory. So just uh, we'll have a look at some special memories here that influence Also, during smoothies. this time, we held an amazing educational event in Parliament House in the Northern Territory with over a thousand students coming to see how modern technology can make a difference in that. their life and inform possibly their career or study decisions. It was called Skills 2021, and you'll recognise some of the people. So what I've been showing off is the Adobe Spark products. Yes. Now, Adobe Spark is, is fantastic because they're simple, free. Still looking as good now, iOS, isn't it? So for iPad and for iPhone, but also web-based as well on spark.adobe.com. And the students can create posters. They can create videos. They can create web pages. And in the web pages, they can embed their videos in their posters and help construct their learning in creative ways. And then suddenly COVID struck, and I ran PD for teachers on online lesson delivery. I didn't know anything about Microsoft Teams, but competency with the software increased dramatically, including mine. One positive byproduct of this terrible event was the expertise in remote lesson delivery. I had some interesting ways of getting my team skills to take off. A team's meeting uh, in the air. Yeah. <laughs> well, actually, what I'll do, I'll do a touch and go and go around. I'll just say, uh, I've got to use my radio for a second. That's not green screen. I'm actually flying a plane while operating Microsoft Teams at After that point. After Microsoft Teams was implemented, I created a team called Clover Teams, which stands for Connecting Learners Over Teams. That integrated Another with acronym. the smoothies gave me a great vehicle to share learnings with everyone all over the Northern Territory. Fair describes my approach to all I do. F is for fun. R is for respect. These two letters bookend AI, which in this case stands for aspiration and inspiration. Fear. Fun, aspiration, inspiration and respect. I try to create this with smoothies and all that I do. you do. Fair stands for fun, aspiration, inspiration, inspiration, respect. <laughs> so after returning from long leave, I was asked to go out and count computers. As a result, I chose the count as the logo for my smoothies. And then suddenly Adobe Express came along with brand capabilities and next minute we had generative AI. And suddenly the new smoothies logo was born with no copyright issues. I'd like to thank Jim Henson and the Muppets for letting me borrow the count for a little while. So as I go through my workflow, uh, check out the tips in the bottom right-hand corner for running your own informal PD episodes. For each episode of Smoothies, I start with a topic list. And if that's solid, I'll create a promotional video using Adobe Express's Animate Characters tool. I then schedule a Friday afternoon online event or webinar detailing the topics and invite my Clover teams group, which has over 200 members, and the ICT group, which has over 700 members before the event. I edit, create, and save my PowerPoint episode, adding demonstrations, video captures, or reference links. The smoothie session is conducted, and it often, ex often extends beyond the 30 minutes uh, plan because people stay around and have a chat. Afterwards, I'll save the recording, update the Adobe Express web page with the episode PowerPoint hyperlink, and impossible, the recorded stream video. If needed, I edit the stream recording or re-record it and place it into Vimeo. Finally, I download uh, attendance details, create the PD certificates via mail merge, and address any to-do items for future topics for upcoming Smoothies episodes. 
So Microsoft PowerPoint is used within Microsoft Teams for the actual delivery of the uh, live episode of Smoothies because I can take advantage of using the PowerPoint Live feature with clickable hyperlinks from within the Teams meeting session. Once the episode has been recorded and uploaded into Streams, I can then add all of the items from that episode into my Adobe Express web page. With a linkable table of contents to each episode, it makes for easy navigation to any of the 58 episodes that are currently in the web, so in the, uh, web page. Each episode item contains the topics for that episode, the promotional video, the link to the PowerPoint used in the episode, a link to the episode recording, including transcript and chapters, and potentially some embedded highlight videos and other links that may be interesting for folks to have a look at. So within the Adobe Express page, I've also got reference sections that include AI, IT support, contact service request forms, and other useful information that folks can use and click on to get to very quick, quickly. So some of the other tools that I do use um, are Snagit and Camtasia from TechSmith. And that's generally to do screen captures and recordings that I can include into Express or into PowerPoint. I use Microsoft Word and Adobe Acrobat to create the mail merge certificates for teacher PD records. Um, I also do use Copilot as well to help assist me with research or wording or refining some of the topics that uh, I have and use. So in the Northern Territory, we use both Vimeo Enterprise and MS Stream as our video streaming platform. I want to give a shout out, of course, to Animate with Characters in Express. That helps me quickly create promo videos for each episode. So here's an example of a recent episode of Smoothies. People can spare 15 minutes, so set that as meeting duration. Pick a date and time and stick to it. Um, uh, create a slide deck for each episode with links that's recorded and share that to a single Express web page. Uh, and that provides access to indexed and hyperlinked episodes. Email e meeting, meeting advice, like email them out. Don't expect people to come without one. Tim's very good at this. So why do I use uh, Adobe Express web page? Well, web page is a living document. Adobe Express web pages are easy to edit and republish additions to my journal of Smoothies episodes. I create a hyperlinked table of contents to each episode, so that's really quick to navigate through. Um, and I can also create, as you can see, a very, very large web page. I can embed Vimeo and YouTube videos and now even created Adobe Express files, the actual native files. I can password protect the web page should I need to do that. So now you can include hyperlinks in your shared native Express files, not just the public web page. And you can get to this particular web page of all of my smoothies by going to smoothies.learnshifting.com. So what are some of the topics we cover? Power Query to Planner, Premiere to PowerPoint, WordPress to Word, Projectors to Printers, Audacity to Audition, Animation to Art, Search Skills to Storage, Security, Safety and Sharing, PDF, Mail Merge, Macro, Spreadsheets, Robots, <laughs> Programming, VR, 3D, AR, Multilingual Tools, Learning Accelerators, Photography, Posters, Passwords, Posting and Podcasts are just a part of what we cover. And yes, AI along with Adobe Express. So, thanks for joining me on this brief talk about smoothies, and remember, keep things fair, fun, aspirational, inspirational, and respectful. I'm now going to jump onto the next screen where there's a bit of a giveaway for you to download. So, on this screen here, we've got two downloadable, remixable Adobe Express files, mogut.learnshifting.com for motion graphic templates, uh, and science.learnshifting.com for safety science. But you can tear apart and uh, you can remix these files. And these are examples of the sort of assets that we share through smoothies. I didn't use QR codes because in K-12, we're not allowed to bring our phones into schools. So that's why I've actually got that short URL. Thank you very much. Round of applause for Mark Christie. <laughs> Wonderful.